So I really wanted to test the foundation, concealer, powder, everything. So all that you see right now is from Too Faced. Okay, so I'm really excited for this video. A lot of you requested that I uh, test everything out for you. So that's exactly what I did. This is not a sponsored video, you guys. But you know I'm 100% honest with you. I keep everything transparent. So I am going to tell you that I did request Too Faced to send me all the makeup they had so that I could test it out for you. Now, I did not know what my foundation and concealer shade was going to be. And I did not want to purchase it online line uh, directly now being a blogger I do have that advantage uh, of asking the brand to send me some of the products first beforehand and then going ahead and buying the products okay so they did send me some extra shades so I swatched a lot of the foundation shades and the concealer shades for you guys like I swatched around seven eight shades so you can see what they look like on my skin and you can sort of figure out what your shade can be so I feel really blessed that I can do this for you guys and I love it that I I can be absolutely honest with you and just tell you like it is uh, however it, my opinions are not going to be wavered by the fact that they sent the products to me so I have to say everything good about it that is not what I'm about you know I'm 100% honest and truthful to you uh, so yeah this is what it's about now that I've cleared everything we're gonna jump in straight to the tutorial because I really want to show you how it applied on my skin and what I feel about it so yeah let's quickly jump into the video Alright guys, so I'm going to jump into the face products. I have a little bit of moisturizer on. Uh, we're going to try the Too Faced Hangover X Primer. This is with coconut water, probiotic based ingredient and skin reviver, silicone free. This is the famous primer. Okay, we're going to put that on our face. Okay, so I'm going to take like one pump and I'm just going to apply this on my skin. It's not basically a pop. Mmm, it smells amazing. Mmm, smells beautiful. I think it's a coconut water. It smells so good. I'm just going to press that into my skin. It is a little tacky, which is good. It's a good sign. Uh, and dude, the glow though, like it's giving me a really nice soft finish on the skin. Uh, however, it's not a pore filling primer, so my pores are still exposed. Uh, we're gonna fill our pores up with another primer and I'm gonna be right back. Alright guys, so I am back. We're gonna try the famous foundation and concealer. Uh, we're gonna go in with foundation first and then concealer because I want to show you how the foundation applies, the amount of coverage it gives because if I put concealer and do my usual technique, you're not gonna see much of the foundation, okay? So we're gonna do foundation. Okay, so for foundation, I have a few shades, okay, that they sent me to try out and test what shade I would be. So I swatched it. For you guys, uh, I don't have all the shades, but whatever I have, I'm gonna swatch it here so you can see which one is mine and you can just see for yourself like how they actually apply. Um, and just mind you that I don't, uh, all of this is in front of natural light and just one ring light. So you're gonna see the true color of the uh, foundation. Okay, so uh, let's get into the swatches. Alright guys, so out of those shades, I felt like natural beige was the closest to my skin. So I'm gonna take natural beige and I'm gonna put that all over. Okay. 
Okay, I'm just gonna go in with one pump and we're gonna see if I need more later on. Okay, so this is the finished result. I think it looks really beautiful. Even the primer underneath is showing through and it's just looking very nice and juicy. Um, I love the finish of it. Very simple, very plain, beautiful, ethereal. Like, I just love it. Um, all these words are coming to my mind because I like the finish a lot. Uh, however, I would go with half a pump more for added coverage. If you want like a regular everyday foundation, you could just go in with one pump. I'm gonna take the uh, Huda Beauty Face Buff and Blend brush. This is the Huda sponge and I'm just going to I mean brush I'm just gonna blend it out so you can see yeah um, it's it's okay but I'm just not used to using a brush you know so I mean the coverage is lighter here I feel like this is a more blended and cleaner finish as compared to this one so anyway I'm gonna go in with another full pump of the foundation because I want more coverage and I'm gonna take my beauty sponge and I'm gonna uh, finish the base makeup Alright, so this is the finished result. I mean, it's pretty dang good. It's a really good finish. It's a beautiful, flawless finish. Um, this could be a foundation you could use every single day. It's medium to full coverage. You can have it medium with one pump, you can add another pump with and build it to a full coverage. So yeah, loving the foundation, let's move on to the concealer. Okay, so I have a few concealers, I think seven, and I'm gonna swatch all of them for you so you can see what they look like on my bare skin. Um, and then I'm gonna tell you what shade I am. So let's go. Okay, so I picked golden beige and natural beige to be my concealers. Golden beige because I really want to apply a concealer that is similar to my skin tone. And then I'm going to apply a slightly brighter concealer to enhance it a little more, which is natural beige. Okay, so the first shade I'm going to use is golden beige. So this is golden beige just by itself and it looks pretty damn good I don't have to put another concealer but it's just a force of habit and also I like my under eye to look a little a little bit brighter than the rest of my face okay so I'm gonna pick up natural beige okay so it's not the brightest shade I do have lighter shades but I think this is enough I don't want to go overboard so I'm just gonna put two dots and cover it up. See, you can automatically see the brightness. Alright guys, so my base is done. I just want to quickly read what the foundation and concealer says. I completely missed I got too excited and I didn't read it. So this is the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. We know it's undetectable, medium to full coverage. Exactly what I uh, felt and the concealer is conceal contour highlight retouch you can do anything with these babies uh, yes that's what it says it's the born this way multi-use sculpting concealer cool I just wanted to bring that out there because I just got so excited baby that I forgot to read what's on the package 
Okay, so then I have the Too Faced Born This Way Ethereal Setting Powder. I love the word ethereal. I just love it. <laughs> it's in translucent medium. I don't think this is my shade, to be honest with you. I feel like it's a little too yellow for me. So I don't know if I'm going to set with this. I don't want to actually disturb the makeup, you know. So I'm just going to set the entire face with this powder later on. I'm just going to go ahead and set my under eye using... Uh, my regular powder that I use every day. So I'm gonna take Maybelline loose powder. I'm gonna set my face, my under eye, and then we're gonna be right back. Okay, I set my powder to bake for a while. We're gonna set the rest of my face. I have the Too Faced Born This Way um, Ethereal Setting Powder here, right? In the shade Translucent Medium. Okay, as far as the packaging is concerned, this is it. I really like that it has a sifter, uh, but you can protect it while traveling so this is it and then it shuts so that powder doesn't fall off which is great i mean that's beautiful packaging and this is what you actually need because my loose powders are all over the place at all times so really great i'm gonna transfer some of this here very little this is the shade you guys i'm gonna show it to you okay so this is how it looks okay i'm a little like terrified to, okay it's not that bad it's not that bad you can barely see it you can barely see the color so that's great okay so i picked up really less and i dusted it all over like you saw um however i would recommend you going a shade lighter if you are my skin tone always using a lighter powder is better or a translucent so um yeah i'm gonna put this back and this set, this set my face though, it's not tacky anymore, it feels really nice and soft. So we're gonna let that be and we're gonna dust off the bake. Okay guys, so I did my brows off camera, we're gonna jump into the eyes. I've got two eyeshadow palettes right here. One is the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. This is the one right here. So again, it smells like chocolate and it's got all your shades, uh, your very neutral, muted shades that you would need. Then we have the Too Faced Sweet Peach Palette right here. Um, this is your... Be oh, it smells... Like when you open it, that aroma just comes to you. So this smells like chocolate because it's chocolate. This smells like peach because it's peach. Uh, you've got... This is a beautiful shade. I've used this before and a lot of you are asking me, what have you used on your eyes? So I use this palette. I'm taking that on my Pro Art PE22 brush. I'm gonna pick up Puree. It's this beautiful chocolatey transition shade. I'm taking that on my Lakara E006 brush. shade looks like and I'm not like crazy about it simply because it's not one of those foiled eyeshadows it's a very um, beautiful shimmer it's that's just what it is and it's not even looking like a foil eyeshadow it's your basic shimmer and that's what it's giving off on my eye as well uh, so yeah I'm not crazy about this eyeshadow but it's not bad either it's a very beautiful uh, golden -y peach shimmer <laughs>
guys, so I didn't have any issues blending. There was no patchiness whatsoever. Very, very minimal fallout. Very minimal, which I can just dust away. And yeah, it's like your beautiful, you can get a really beautiful eye look with this palette and many, many looks with this palette because like I said, the colors are a lot over here. So you can play around with what you want to use. You can go for all matte, shimmer, both. Um, so yeah, this is a great palette. I want to add a little bit more shimmer. So I'm going to wet my brush. I'm taking the Hangover X 3-in-1 uh, finishing spray, a setting spray, and I'm just going to wet my brush. And I'm gonna pick up the same shade, it's called Luscious. And I'm just gonna try to build it up because I feel like I wanna give this a fair shot with my brush wet. Okay, I feel like it did sort of brighten the shadow a lot more. Okay, that did make a difference. Actually, it made a lot of difference. Don't you guys see? Yup, 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 yup. This is what I'm talking about, baby. Okay, come close. You'll see exactly what I mean. See how beautiful it looks now? It's just got that added shimmer. Okay, now I'm happy. This is beautiful. Now it looks stunning. let my mascara dry and then we're gonna put on lashes later uh, let's move on to the bronzing and contouring my honey so for uh, contour I got the Too Faced Coco contour palette right here it looks so beautiful it's very very heavy by the way oh my god like super luxurious feeling so this is how the product looks it's beautiful and very juicy because it's all square and it looks so nice oh my god I'm a sucker for like squares huh? clearly look at my ring um, okay, so what I'm gonna do is I don't know when I would use this powder. It seems like a color correcting It's a deep highlight. Okay, so I don't know what that is. So I'm gonna skip that But we've got light highlight medium highlight which is great for like brightening the under eye And then we've got light contour medium contour and deep contour. So three colors. So I'm gonna use these two colors uh, To start off and I'm gonna contour this time is a contour honey oh my god that is really really contoured so we're gonna move on to bronzer now I'm taking the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil bronzer something instantly so this is not one of those very very warm beautiful sun-kissed bronzer it's again you could contour with the Too Faced chocolate bronzer as well so now that I'm noticing uh, when I layered on the two products I'm noticing that it can get slightly muddy if you layer it on too much so I made the mistake of layering it on on top of the contour uh, so you don't want to do that okay so things to avoid are don't like club the two products a lot because this is I think enough if you just get this it's enough to contour and bronze together I feel like you won't need an additional contour palette like this all right okay so for blush I have the one and only Too Faced Papadone Peach blush here it's the only blush I have so I'm gonna take that and start blushing okay guys so I added some lashes and now I'm finally feeling myself lashes make all the difference in the world I'm wearing the Rufa Beauty lashes in the style Sasha okay so let's move on I've added some blush we're gonna take some highlighter now and complete this look I have the Too Faced Canary Diamond Highlighter right here. This is the one I used last time and loved. So I'm gonna use this all over my face and then we're gonna be dripping in diamond. Picking up the Pro Art AF05 brush. This is so For the 
finished touch, I'm just gonna add some candied peach. Just a little bit more to complete the look. Add more peachiness. So for lipstick, we have three shades right here. We've got the Too Faced Melted Matte Liquefied Matte Longwear Lipstick. I have three shades right here. The pink one is Bend and Snap. Then we have the red one, which is Lady Balls. And then we have the nude one, which is Sell Out. This is such a beautiful color. using the Too Faced Primer Set and Refresh Hangover X3 in one replenishing primer. Um, silicone free, alcohol free and oil free. I'm gonna take the Too Faced Born This Way Golden Beige uh, Compact Powder and I'm just gonna cut through the bronzer a little bit just to see how this works. Oh yes, beautiful. Yes, mama. That is stunning. That is beautiful. Can you see the cut? It cut. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> I really hope you enjoyed watching this video. I really love how my makeup turned out. Let me know what you think. Um, I really like how my foundation is looking. My concealer is looking great. Um, I love the lip products, by the way. I think they are fantastic. Like, it feels like nothing on the lips. It feels so comfortable. So, I think this is a great investment to do. If you really want to pick one product out of all of this, I think the lip products are beautiful because it feels like it feels hydrated it's not one of those drying matte formulas so um, I know lipstick formulas and I feel like this is one of those very nice soft matte formulas and I don't think yeah I don't think it transfers either it's like a beautiful matte lipstick I've been wearing this for a while now I had my lunch and everything the lipstick stayed and it's beautiful um, you know about the highlighter I love it the blush is okay I'm not a fan of the blush I'm not like a die-hard fan of the blush because it does apply a lot of shimmer okay and I don't know if I am a fan of very shimmery blushes so I think I would skip on the blush uh, the contour palette is great if you're a makeup artist or if you're someone that just wants one palette to go for your entire life I feel like you're not gonna hit pan on this very soon because it's very it's got a lot of product and uh, yeah the contour and the chocolate sole bronzer was great if you had to pick between the two, I would say the chocolate sole, um, chocolate sole bronzer because that can act as a bronzer and a contour. And what else? What else? Yeah, that's it. I think everything else is really great, very smooth. Love and very excited for Too Faced to be in India. Um, I cannot wait to try other products as and when they launch. I love you so much. Um, let me know what you think in the comment section below, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Mwah. Peace.